Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Today we will be doing your December 2019 tarot prediction. And before I was getting started to do your read, I kept hearing something about the night. The night. I'm not sure what it is. We will be using for you today Tarot de la Nuit. So maybe it's just this is the deck that has to do with the night. And anyway, watch this if you are Sagittarius, someone are rising. Don't forget to check your 2020 yearly astrology prediction. And also we will have 2020 personalized reading for astrology as well. Um, check out the description box for that. If you order, I believe, before December 1st, this is where you get like free classes for astrology, for tarot. And anyway, let's see. Let's see what's, what's going on because I'm hearing something about the night. I don't know if you guys are going out. You started like, um, I mean, it's winter where I am right now, but it doesn't have to be where you are. But I feel like something about the night or maybe at night this person comes to you or calls you or something like that. Let's see. Something about the night. Maybe you're reading a book. That's called the night. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see. We have here, okay, we have here Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been cutting off people from maybe your past. You've been really also trying to be diligent with your work because I feel like for somebody here, your work suffered while you were um, obsessed or maybe hurting over some kind of relationship here that was very significant in the past and right now you are like okay my work was really hurting i cannot afford to do this anymore i have to give my work everything i got right now all right and we have here five of cups so somebody here with a five of cups still feels very sad i feel like inside but what i'm getting like there is a sense it's like there is this feeling that people around you have already moved on. No one really understands if you are still hurting or still being sad over someone. And you feel like you got to catch up with a crowd or with your friends or whatever it is. And it's time to let go. But I feel like there is a part of you that's still sad. And there is a part of you that wonders also if another part of um, the connection or somebody you were dealing with has moved on. Or if they are still holding on to the situation as well like a part of you still wonder so I feel like if you're still grieving something if you're still recovering from something it's okay give yourself time if somebody else has moved on it doesn't mean that you have to follow somebody else's clock you have your own you know processes taking place and I feel like you while this is all happening you're also trying to focus as much as you can on work somebody here going to the gym I'm seeing somebody here at dance gym also where you can swim yoga all this kind of stuff we have here four of pentacles but that's the thing five of cups of the four of pentacles maybe even during the full moon it's like there were these feelings that were triggered within you and this was the previous month i don't see this in december it's like there's a part of you that's wondering is this really it is this really the end let's see let's look a little bit more into the future where this is all going all right hold on too much I did see the seven of cups there so it's like you're stuck between the past and the future so the past is done but it's like the future is still yet to be unfolding and yes this moon cards keep coming out let's see hold on one card at a time we have here queen of wands this is you Sagittarius I feel like on many levels your life is really becoming amazing right now so whether it is career progress whatever it is i feel like even before and i'm using western astrology here before you tell me that in vedic it's something else in western astrology jupiter and actually in vedic jupiter as well in the sign of sagittarius as well so you starting getting these blessings there's a lot of amazing things happening in your life and i feel like also especially like during the week when i'm recording this jupiter in the western is in galactic center so Make a meditation, ask for whatever you want. Ask Jupiter to open doors for you. Ask Jupiter to remove obstacles for you. Envision yourself going through all these doors, having amazing things maybe that you've never been able to receive or to achieve before. Because this is the time. This is the time for you to rise. This is the time for you to shine. And I feel like in the next months, you're gonna arrive, you're gonna receive some kind of amazing blessing where you will be happier more than what you could have expected we have here the tower i think this is not bad i feel like this is an unexpected blessing something that maybe even has fallen apart before is coming together now we have here nine of wands it's something that you've been fighting for for a very long time 
that wants to it's like it's like there is this new beginning but it is come it comes unexpected it almost comes like abruptly you have here page of pentacles so it's like something here but has been destroyed before and right now you're getting this um offer you're getting this opportunity to rebuild something it's like you're an architect of your own life right now and they're asking you so what do you want to build we're giving you this opportunity we're giving you all these resources all these things lining up for you so what do you want to do for that and this is very deep this is very powerful i feel like this has very much to do with the jupiter being in the galactic center right now the phrase also that i kept getting before i started your reading was something like dream the world into being dream a new world so it's like for you here with the queen of wands this is time to spread your wings i do know that there is a part of you that's still mourning the loss of something or some kind of sadness here it is still there and it's okay it's like sometimes it's just healing or whatever this happens in stages but there is this opportunity to build something to create something the star wow could have not said it's any better it's like you are getting these blessings from the universe to really whatever you want in your life you can have right now but you gotta you know first you gotta envision it i'm seeing this is something about you really needing to maybe even spend some time alone to sit down in a meditation and really ask yourself am i living and am i doing everything i ever wanted to do and i feel like once you do that it's like there's this door opening and there's all this tremendous light available. Wow, Sagittarius reading is very powerful today. Strength card. For some of you, it could have been a situation also with a Leo, with Aquarian I'm seeing here as well, with a Cancerian and even Earth signs I'm seeing here. But it's like you have tamed a part of yourself, I think. You have healed and you have tamed a part of yourself. So right now, the universe is listening to you. And I also feel like whoever you've been dealing with, I don't feel like this person, I feel like this person needs the necessary strength to come in towards you. There is some people that are new people as well, I'm seeing. But there is also someone here who you have a very deep connection with. We have here the devil. Can be like a past life connection as well. And when I say karmic connection, please don't butcher this word. Uh, I don't mean it, I don't use it as most readers on YouTube. I feel like there could be just some person you have a past life connection with and this connection has triggered a lot of traumas, a lot of fears, but also very intense, almost like obsessive quality to it because this is strength, which is eighth house, and this is devil, which is also, um, this is like an energy of Capricorn, this is an energy of Saturn. Somebody here could be Gemini rising because I'm seeing Saturn transits through the eighth house. And a lot of, a lot of, fears have been triggered here someone here is also trying to seduce the other and we have here ten of pentacles some kind of even i don't know some of you guys will be like going out maybe it will be like events around the holidays in december and there is going to be just this feeling like you want to i don't know it's it's it, there is this very strong attraction between two people that i'm seeing here where it's faded like and it's destined and there's just a lot going on here i feel like for a lot of you it could be like an old person but for some it could be even the new person and it's like you want to know also show this person how amazing you can be it's like if this is an ex from the past or if it's someone new you want to show them what you what they can have or what they're missing right now king of swords it could be a person who was very I'm seeing this person likes to use words in an unusual way, like some of the phrases they can come up with could be quite intriguing, they could be quite cold as well sometimes with some of the things they say. But this person has, you know, I'm seeing here there is this darkness in this person, but at the same time it's like this mysterious energy. And they've been watching you, I think, for a while. They're also very alert, to, alert by you, they, they could have Scorpio in their chart. We have here Seven of Cups. I don't know, I feel like you're connected here to someone and you don't fully let go of this connection even though you might have tried to, to do so. What does this person want? Let's see. Two of Cups, wow. This person wants love. They might not look so pure and so ready for love on the surface, but I feel whoever this person is, they want love. They want like true pure love and maybe they also see you as this pure love because this is white color here and everything else is so dark so they see you as this light in the darkness you are a person who shines we also have here the temperance so someone here looks at you and thinks that you are this angel this beautiful angel and they're in love as well 
I feel like this connection has been tainted a little bit. We have here a little bit like blood or whatever, wine spilled, whatever it is. This connection could have been tainted, but, or this person, if it's a new person, could have been tainted also. Maybe you yourself could have been tainted, but I'm seeing that they see you as this pure white light. And I feel like no matter how this person looks like on the surface, deep down, this person really, really wants love. All right. We also have here Lion Spirit. So definitely a Leo for some of you who wants to be with you, I'm seeing here. This person could have a little bit of pride and ego, but I feel like at the same time, they are the most loving and the most generous person as well once you get to know them. For others of you, I think you yourself could have Leo in your chart. And maybe like, I feel like pride is affecting this connection, but there is this love here that's very deep, I feel like. There's just also a lot going on. People are not fully decided whether they want to leave this behind or not. But I feel like you Sagittarius right now, you should be asking for everything. You should ask universe for everything. Whatever you want, you ask for it. We have here eight of wands, your card. Once you ask for it, I feel like also things here are moving very fast. I feel like almost someone here is ready to like pounce. If it's a Leo you're dealing with, someone here been preparing, preparing, and now they want to just go and they want to dive into something. And look at this, your Oracle card here is dance with life. <laughs> Do something to change your energy. And that's what I was saying. I kept feeling that there is something about the night. So maybe a lot of you guys are gonna be going out. Maybe it is also about like you attending some kind of events, parties, dancing. Like I said, I see someone here becoming very active also in their fitness, in their routine. But your energy field here is changing. And this is also very attractive to this person. I'm seeing some people here will be very social also in the month of December. And there's going to be a lot of different people drawn to you. But there is one person and you know who this person is, who you just feel some kind of other connection here as well. And you want this person deep down. No matter what you try, if you like to tell yourself, you do want this person. Is there other options? Yes, there is. So it's your choice. And right now the universe is like asking you, Sagittarius, so what do you want? We are in galactic center, especially when I'm recording this video. Before December, there is a good opportunity right now to ask, what do you want to create? What do you want to build? What do you want the universe to bring you? What doors do you want to be open for you? So anyway, we're going to continue this in the extended. I will see you there if you're joining. And oh my God, guys, silly me. I was making this whole video and I was like, all of this night, celebration, dressing up. Why am I seeing all that? And I don't know why Mercury retrograde affected my brain apparently right now. But it didn't click in my mind that it is your actual birthday month. So probably, yes, it all makes sense. You guys are going out because it is your birthday, because you guys are going to be having fun. And I think around your birthday, especially around the time when you're celebrating going out, something really significant will happen. So again, ask, ask, ask for everything you, you always wanted because there is amazing blessings available to you and something beautiful, I think, is going to come very, very unexpectedly and you're going to be very happy with it. Anyway, guys, happy birthday. Thank you so much for watching and we're going to talk soon. Bye-bye.